In the third step of this guide, I will show you how to finish your print after it's done being printed. So, the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take our build platform out of the printer and we're going to use a metal spatula and scrape that print off of the bottom of the build plate. And then once we do that, we're going to put it into a container of isopropyl alcohol. I highly suggest you get a sealed container for this because we're going to want to shake it around and you don't want that uh, alcohol flying everywhere. So go ahead and shake it around once you have it in there. Um, I've seen people use different methods for uh, agitating their isopropyl alcohol solution. I've seen them use uh, orbital sanders or some sort of uh, dental cleaning uh, equipment to be able to properly shake their model, but I like to just do it by hand, it's a little cheaper. Okay, so after you've shaken it around and let it sit uh, for about 15 minutes, go ahead and pull it out. And what the isopropyl alcohol does is it uh, removes all the excess resin off of your part, uh, so that way you don't have anything residual uh, degrading the surface of your part once it uh, goes into the curing oven. All right, so once uh, you take it out of the alcohol solution, go ahead and put it in your UV light uh, oven. Uh, if you don't have something like this, uh, you can go ahead and just put it, uh, you can put it in a cup of water and put it out in the uh, sunlight. A cup of water just helps it uh, cure evenly, but you're gonna want it uh, to cure under UV source for a good uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And once you pull it out, you can go ahead and start removing the supports. So just grab a pair of clippers or tweezers or even a, a hobby knife and just start uh, cutting away at those supports. Uh, you want to make sure you try and clip them as close to the object as possible to reduce the amount of uh, extra sanding that you uh, later. And then as you start clipping the supports, you can peel away the support raft and breaking all the parts off. By now, your part should be pretty, uh, pretty hard and, and a little brittle even. Uh, so those supports should snap off pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and uh, get all of them off. And then we'll be able to uh, sand the surface, the support surface, to make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, looks good. Let's hit it with some sandpaper. This is uh, 120 grit sandpaper. Uh, the video sped up, so it looks like I'm being kind of aggressive, but I'm just uh, very lightly rubbing it against the uh, sandpaper. And uh, the total sanding I spent uh, took about uh, two minutes. I uh, really didn't spend that much time on it. After I hit it with 120, uh, this is 400 grit sandpaper. So I'll hit that again. Again, just lightly pushing it against the sandpaper, not using a whole lot of force. Just want to smooth it out and keep that surface finish. All right, and here's our finished part. This is uh, the One Finger Nuck, produced by Gravel Knives. Uh, he supplied the CAD model to me very generously. Super excited I got a chance to print it. So if you like this, make sure you check out his website in the video description. And if you haven't seen them already, go ahead and check out the two previous videos where I show you how to set up your CAD model to be printed. And I also show you how to set up your printer to print your CAD model. Be sure to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.